So I just logged on my PS5 today and I noticed I had a notification for Honkai Star Rail. When I clicked on this, this popped up and I was like, what? They're charging us $10 for the game? Ain't no way PC and mobile users get it for free. Well, once I opened it up, you can see it appears to be a starter pack. In this video, I'll be going over the value of this starter pack and see if it's truly worth the $10. So with that out the way, let's get into this, yeah? The first item on the list is two Star Rail Passes, which are used to get the standard units. This is nice, but it could have been a lot better if it was the special Star Rail Pass, as these are used to get the limited units. If we go into the in-game store, we'll see it costs a dollar for 60 jades, as these have a 1 to 1 conversion rate. If we go to the exchange trade, you can see it costs 160 jades just for one of these. So this means we need 320 jades to get this, making this already have a $5.33 value. Next up is the 150k credits. You'll come across Calyxes in game that'll give you this on top of just killing enemies and completing missions, but for the sake of value, let's go to the Calyx. Well, this is a little rough, so let's just round this to 10k to make this a little comfy, yeah? In order to get 150k credits, we need to do this 15 times at level 1, since that's what you'll be when you start. So in order to do this 15 times, we need to have 150 stamina, which is worth roughly 125 jades. That means the total value of this is $2.08. Moving on to the 80 adventure logs. Luckily I have footage of my account doing this at the level you will be doing it at, and we can see on average after 6 runs that we get 3 adventure logs and 3 travel encounters. An adventure log is 5000 XP, and a travel encounter is 1000 XP, so 80 adventure logs is a total of 400,000 XP. This means if we do this domain 23 times, we will have 69 adventure logs and travel encounter, which adds up to a little over the total XP of 80 adventure logs. Now how much is that in value? Well each run is 10 stamina, so 230 stamina converts into 192 jades, which is $3.20. Our last Calyx resource is the 50 sparse aether. As you can see, after 60 runs, we get 5 sparse aethers on average, with a bonus of 1 condensed aether. Sparse aether gives us 500 XP, while condensed aether gives us 2000 XP. 50 sparse aethers would be a total of 25,000 XP, so after 6 runs, you'll be a little above the value, which is 60 stamina, and that's 50 jades. That means the value for this is 84 cents. Now for the consumables. I'm not really sure how to put this into value perspective, but if we look at all the items you need to make these, I can make this over a thousand times. This isn't me trying to brag, but to show you how easy it is to acquire the mats to make them. It should also be noted that you cannot use consumables in the hardest content the game has, so these aren't that impactful as they may seem. And for those watching this video before the game releases on October 11th, you will get a bonus of 15 Traveler's Guide. This is a total of 300,000 XP, which from the 80 adventure logs we previously calculated means this would take us 17 runs to get that much XP. It'll cost 170 stamina, which is 142 jades. The value for this is $2.37. The 5 Refined Aether is a total of 30,000 XP, and from our previous calculations on the 50 Sparse Aether, we know we'll need to do 7 runs to equal this XP, which is 70 Stamina. This converts into 58 Jades, which is 97 cents in value. And lastly, the 5 Lost Crystals. They add up to a total of 5,000 XP for Relics. There's actually no domain for Relic XP, and we just dismantle useless Relics for XP. When you unlock your first relic domain, it'll drop a total of 3 4-star relics, 4 3-star relics, and 2 2-star two relics. A 2-star relic gives 300 XP, a 3-star relic gives 500 XP, and a 4-star relic gives 1000 XP. So in total, one run gives 5600 XP. This is 40 stamina for one run, so that means it's 33 jades, giving it a value of 55 cents. So if we add everything up from the 2-star rail passes, the 150k credits, 80 adventure logs, and 50 sparse aethers, we'll get a total of $11.45. Now for those watching this before the game launches, the 15 traveler's guide, 5 refined aether, and 5 lost crystals equals a value of $15.34. Now that we have the value of this bundle established, should you purchase it? Well, that's honestly up to you. And for those who want my opinion on it, here it is. 
As someone who's been playing the PC version for 6 months, I've acquired a lot of experience in this game, and quite frankly, I would not purchase this. Everything here is acquired by playing the game, and if we go to the express pass the game has, you can see you get 2,700 jades and an extra 300 for just $5! And if you end up spending $15 on this, you will get 9,000 jade in 90 days, which is 56 pulls! Now if you don't feel like waiting 90 days, then you could purchase the battle pass for $10, which as you can see already gives you more traveler's guide, refined aether, and a ton of credit on top of a bunch of other goodies. So as you can see, there are two better options you could spend your money on if you feel like spending money. And if you enjoyed this video, consider subscribing to see more as I plan on making a completely brand new account for the PlayStation 5 launch, streaming the game, and making videos specific for the PS5 community. Until the next video, I'll see ya!